I live in New York State, one of many where politicians spend more money than we have. There's a $4.4 billion deficit. My governor wants to raise taxes, but this man says there's a better way to raise money. We can lease naming rights on our infrastructure. We can Infrastructure lease. meaning? Bridges, tunnels, the uh, Triborough Bridge could be called the Staples Bridge or the Apple Bridge. Companies would pay because bridges are seen by lots of people. Hundreds of thousands of vehicles pass by and see that big sign. That's valuable. That I, I disagree with. That's a bad idea. Most people we asked didn't like the idea. I, would, I definitely wouldn't want to rename something after some sort of corporation. People don't like this. It's commercializing. Absolutely. Shake your fist and say, this doesn't sound good, if you want to. And you're going to wind up in a place where the tax burden is insanely high. I just think some things should be left pure, not tainted by money. You know what she should do? Start a nonprofit, raise $30 million. She can name it whatever she wants. It's one of the largest construction projects in the country. Our governor just had a beautiful new bridge built, and he named it after his father. Yes, he did. That's true. Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge. We actually have an imperial bridge named after our royal family. I'm embarrassed. Sharp is the libertarian candidate. We libertarians don't worship politicians and don't think they deserve monuments just because they got elected. I'll tell you what I'll do. He's got $30 million a year. He can keep his name on that bridge and he's take care of the maintenance. Someone asked me, Larry, how are you going to pay for I-81? Sharp's campaign is attracting new people. His rallies have bigger crowds than third-party candidates normally get. And Sharp's original ideas help get him speaking roles at big events and media coverage. If you're unhappy with the system, you got to change it. One poll found Sharp getting 13%. And after people hear his campaign pitch, 25% support him. I'm not going to roll back anything. Some of Sharp's positions surprised me. You're a libertarian. I assume you want to cut these wasteful programs. Of course not. Look, the issue here is you don't want to just pull the rug out from people because when you do that, they become afraid. If people are afraid, they rarely vote for you. So you would keep all these when did I say government I programs. Away? Yeah, I said no new programs. And you would keep the existing... Sure, why, why, who said I would get rid of them? I, I just that. assume because Why? they're inefficient, they're bloated. So they're... get rid of them? That's the, that's the worst idea. Let me be very clear about something. If you pull the rug out from somebody, somebody is going to be afraid. Sharp focuses on his alternatives to taxes. Why don't we instead have a 3M bridge or an Apple bridge or a Pepsi bridge? Why hasn't this been done? Because no one has any new ideas. There's no ideas how I'm going to fix anything or do anything right. It doesn't even exist. I'm a third party. I have to have ideas or no one will listen to me. The MTA, New York subway system, is falling apart. Trains are packed, buses are packed, we need the money. So Sharp says, rent out the tracks at night. We have so many lines in the MTA right now that are not being used at all at night. Home Depot or Google or Amazon or, or whomever, they can decide, they can use these freight lines. They'll help pay for maintenance, obviously, and they'll pay to move their freight. Again, win, win, win. Then Sharp said something else that surprised me. There are systems out there that are both safe and unionized, so we keep unions happy and our workers safe and be cheaper. Why do you want to keep the unions happy? Because they're unionized? Why would I want why not keep unions happy? Because unions can be destructive. They can be, absolutely. Don't think of a sure. libertarian as a pro-union guy. Unions are part of a First Amendment. It's people getting together saying they won't do X until you do Y. Nothing wrong with that at all. It raises prices. Fine, that's okay. It is what it is. Collective bargaining is fine. The, my issue with unions has always been, are you forcing me to be in a union? Are you forcing unionized labor? If you're forcing it, I'm libertarian. I have a problem with that. But you're voluntarily doing it? I don't have a problem at all. Sharp is the rare politician who proposes new ideas that might actually reduce the burden of government. This man liked his subway funding idea. I think that would be good. We need air conditioning in the subway, so Amazon, get us air conditioning. He's thinking the right way. Amazon will love it. We'll love it. I like that guy. And I like it that there's at least one candidate who doesn't want to make government bigger. New programs. No, I'm libertarian. No, no, no new programs? No, 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 I'm no. to take care of people? You do know what party I'm part of, right? Libertarians believe that you should be as conservative or as liberal as you want to be as long as you don't want to force yourself on others. Larry Sharp for Governor 2018. Thank you very much.